The first and only statewide debate between U.S. Senate candidates J.D. Vance and Tim Ryan is just over 24 hours away. Thanks for joining us for NBC4 at 6. I'm Jamie Ostroff. The candidates are looking to fill Republican Senator Rob Portman's seat, and NBC4 is your local election headquarters. You can watch the debate right here on NBC4 tomorrow night. Meanwhile, Eric Halperin has been talking to analysts ahead of the debate and is live in Columbus. So, Eric, what are they expecting to get out of this debate? Jamie, they're looking forward to the fact that it's an opportunity to see these two candidates outside a setting of a political ad or a stump speech. This debate is happening in Cleveland. Here's some video up at our sister station of Cruz getting the set ready. NBC4 is Colleen Marshall, one of the moderators. And NBC4 Emerson College, the Hill poll from September, had a Republican candidate, J.D. Vance, leading Democrat Tim Ryan 44% to 40 with 13% undecided. I talked about tomorrow night's debate with Professor Michael Heblow from The Ohio State University. He's a political science professor and director of the Institute for Democratic Engagement and Accountability. He says debates don't often play a huge role in making up a voter's mind, but it's still important to have the chance to see the candidates take part in a debate. More important, though, in the sense of going through the exercises and formalities of a, a democratic campaign, I think there's value just in that, in candidates being forced to, um, to be held to account uh, for the things that they don't want to talk about um, in their uh, stump speeches and uh, their, their ads. The debate's at 7 tomorrow night, and again, you can watch it right here on NBC4. Tonight, after football, hear from a local debate expert on what she is looking to get out of this debate. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4. All right, Eric, thank you. And now is a great time to remind everyone that the deadline to register to vote in next month's midterm is quickly approaching. Ohioans have until October 11th to register or update their registration with the County Board of Elections. That is this coming Tuesday. So to find out how to check your registration and how to request an absentee ballot, you can just head to our website, NBC4I.com.